It has been six months since the Justice Department announced it would be allocating more than $23 million to police departments across the country. That money is to be invested in cameras that will be attached to officers' uniforms. As more departments roll out the new technology, it's raising a lot of questions, but also becoming a big business. Andrea Day has that story. Turn off the car and see your hands. You're watching footage captured by an officer's body cam. Put your hands on your back, Douglas. Split second decisions get out, get out. caught on tape. Nationwide, these tiny cameras becoming a staple with law enforcement. There's always two sides, you know, to the story, and then there's the truth. With the push of a button, the most reliable witness. The camera doesn't lie, so. Officer Eric you know, Rodriguez patrols this New Jersey community where just weeks state ago state they rolled out a pilot body cam program. Do you think it will? you'll do anything differently because you're wearing a camera? Honestly. Um, honestly, of, uh, of course. The debate, a hot button, even in the race for the White House. It can solve a lot of problems for the police. It can also solve a lot of problems, period, you know, where they're accused of things. We should make sure every police department in the country has body cameras. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, in 2013, police cameras were worn by at least some officers in 32 percent of departments, with more coming on board every year. I think it's a, a huge piece of conversation in policing across the country. Um, you see what's happened in uh, places from Staten Island to Ferguson to Baltimore, and uh, people would like to think that body cameras might have changed some of the policing activities. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not true, but ultimately that's where the conversation's going. Mayor Stephen Fulop of Jersey ago, City in New Jersey pushed, pushed through the initiative in his city. We think that this will be a good thing for the police officers as much as it a good thing for the public. But Fulop believes for the new technology to be a success, new guidelines will be necessary. The policing interest, the city's interest, and of course the transparency interest. In Rialto, California, Chief Tony Farrar was ahead of the curve, implementing body cams four years ago. It was really more to evaluate the impact that the cameras would have on law enforcement. Almost immediately, he says, there was an 80% drop in complaints and a 60% drop in use of force. With the federal push for body cameras come millions in government contracts. One manufacturer, Taser, says fourth quarter 2015 sales of body-worn cameras jumped to more than 44 million. That's up nearly 82% from the year before. Back in New Jersey, Officer Rodriguez says cameras act as a reinforcement of what every good cop should already know. You have to do everything the way you're taught, the way you're trained to do so. Totally by the book. By the book. And some of the issues lawmakers are now facing. How quickly will this footage be made public? That's being challenged in courts across the country right now. Police departments are also working to adjust to the new technology, including what parts of an officer's day should be captured on tape, where to store all the footage, and how long to keep it. I'm Andrea Day for Nightly Business Report.